um, one of the verses that we read this morning was from Matthew 18, and I think it's one part of this, one verse in this is very, it's used when we gather all the time, right? So it's the one that says, when Jesus says, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. Like, have you heard that before in community? Or like when we're praying or whatever, and listen, I'm not knocking that, you know, when we pray, like, God, we know that you are, where we are gathered, you are here. That's true. That's absolutely true. But I think it's really interesting that we use this verse in like prayer gatherings or worship gatherings um, in this way, which this is actually doesn't have anything to do with like a prayer gathering or a worship gathering. This whole section of scripture that Jesus is talking about is talking about resolving conflict, resolving conflict in community. It's not this like, oh, it's unity. And no, it's not. It's about resolving conflict. He lays out this process. If somebody wrongs you, you go to them, you address the wrong that has happened. If they don't listen then, then you take somebody else or you take more than one person with you. And Jesus is here as the original hearers would have recognized this as, um, as reflecting like this legal language from the Old Testament where um, at least two people had to hear, had to bear witness to a testimony for it to be credible, right? Two or three. So this scripture is not about unity per se. It's not about belonging or safety, but it's actually about the transformation and the restoration in community with other people, right? Jesus is talking about a process for conflict, and he's offering this promise that God is with us while we go through the process of conflict. And this verse is saying, when we have exhausted our own ability, when I've, when I've addressed it myself, when I have taken my friends with me to address it, and still, this is where we are, when we have exhausted our collective ability to cultivate community, because it's freaking hard, we give it to God, and God promises then to be among us. Where, where we are gathered to do this, God promises to be among us. There will be conflict in community. If you have not experienced that yet, in community is the common. There's co- going to be conflict, whether that's within Christ City, whether that's within our greater context of this neighborhood, of this city, whether that's in relationships we're in. That's the high challenge piece, right? We're going to rub. When iron touches iron and, and sharpening one another, one another, there are sparks. It's not this like peaceful process. It's loud and produces sparks. There will be conflict. But God promises to be there. And when we're in community together, we're promising each other that we're going to be there too. And that's the high safety piece. That's the high safety piece. Community is hard. Sharpening one another is very difficult. But the promise of God is there to be with us when we're trying to pursue racial justice, when we don't understand one another, when we misunderstand one another, when we are trying to plan an event with a neighborhood organization and and the details all are crazy and we don't know what's happening, you know? God is there when, when turning from looking inward and looking outward when it causes conflict, because it will. God is there when there are sparks, when we are sharpening one another, and that's the promise.